Hello my loves, it's Tuesday night and of course the first night of a brand new meals vlog having just uploaded one this very evening which we'll link up there if you fancy going back and having a look because it were quite an interesting one Yeah Wasn't it yeah. Thomas? This one's going to be a really interesting one Well it is because it's going to include vegan camp <laughs> um, But uh, I thought I'd show you the packaging Right, these vegetable patties if you've never had them before they do a spicy vegetable patty as well they're bloody gorgeous I think we got them for a pound I know that we got them from farm foods mm -hmm. yeah uh, we're having it with this rice tilde jambalaya which I believe I got from Heron for 39p weeks and weeks and weeks ago and the salad is made up of a bag of mixed leaves and rocket that I got yellow stickered two days ago but it was still fine. And our own homegrown tomatoes. And on that plate, we've got Black Russians, Spencer's and Matsiki's, I think. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Vegetable patty, jambalaya rice, salad with homegrown tomatoes and bread and butter. With I was going to cut it up and then I was like, it actually shows it on the packet. It's cut open right there. But it might be nice to do a comparison because we've got that there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just, I think it'll be pretty firm, so I should be able to just, there we go. There's a lot more peas in there than we see there. Yeah. But they're, honestly, they're beautiful, and for a pound a box, you can't grumble. The pastry's fabulous. Oh, well. it's amazing. It's patty pastry. It's fantastic. Yeah, so there you go. Um, the original patty core veg, veg passes. Tilda jambalaya rice and salad with homegrown tomatoes. It's night one of the meals vlog. It's quite a cracker. Mm. <laughs> Bye, loves. It's Jason's lunchtime taste tests. Hello, you lovely person, and this <laughs> is what I have for my lunch today. So, um, as was mentioned in last week's lunchtime test test boots, in the meal deal section, I've got a few new things in their range, in their uh, their options for us uh, us uh, as vegans, and this is one of them. Uh, so, it would be rude not to give it a try. Now. Also mentioned in last week's lunchtime taste test is uh, this is three pound fifty on its own, which is maybe a little bit expensive, but um, with a Boots card, it's three pound sixty for a meal deal. Um, so that's a packet of crisps or some kind of snack and a drink as well. Um, some of the innocent drinks are clearly marked vegan. So this is a fusilli pasta coated in sun dried tomatoes and vegan mayonnaise dressing with plant-based chicken and bacon style pieces made from soya and pea protein topped with spinach. So I'm going to eat it as is, so let's open it up and as always I'll give you my honest opinion. This of course is what it looks like in all its glory. I'm just trying to get a little bit closer there so you can have a look and it even comes with a nice little wooden fork so I shall use that and tuck in. Okay, let's give it a try. Bit of pasta. Mm. Mm. You know what? It's actually surprisingly substantial. There's some decent, uh, decent sized pieces of the uh, the no chicken, which has got that classic. This isn't taste and texture. Quite substantial. Mmm. Plenty of flavour there. Flavour's really nice. Got tomatoes coming through. The mayonnaise is lovely. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. One more mouthful. Nice bit of red onion in there as well. All right, yeah. Mm. Very pleasantly surprised because, sorry about the traffic, you can almost be guaranteed with this particular brand, but you can never be 100% certain, can you? So when something's new, 
worth giving it a try. I would recommend this as part of a meal deal. On its own for £3.50, it's not bad. I'd like to see it sub three quid, if I'm honest with you. But as part of a meal deal, a Boots, particularly if you've got a, a Boots card, to get that, a snack and a drink for £3.60 is excellent. Um, so what am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a, a solid 8. I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It, in terms of flavour and texture, it absolutely smashes out of the park what I had in last week's lunchtime taste test, the, um, the, the Nan uh, wrap thing. Uh, so yeah, I won't waffle on anymore. It's a strange week this week. Obviously, we've got vegan camp out uh, around the corner as of today. When you're watching this, who knows when it'll be? But uh, yeah, happy days. As always, take care of yourself, and I will see you very soon. Hello, my loves. It's Wednesday evening, and we're getting early. Woo -woo. Yay! Yay. <laughs> We've finished work now, both of us, until next Wednesday because, as you're probably aware by now, we're going to vegan camp out. So the food from tomorrow night onwards will be very different. Um, but uh, we had two packets of Samyang two times spicy noodles left, and I said, should we finish them off, Jay? So I've done a block of tofu with sesame oil, salt and pepper, and some edamame beans in the wok. Uh, as I say, with a bit of sesame oil, and I put some spinach in with the noodles, and that's about it, really. Nice noodles, tofu, spinach, edamame. Yeah, it'll be lovely. It it'll, will be. It'll be absolutely. Always lovely. is, as you know. We like a bit of spice, so a bit of spice we shall have with this lovely noodles and tofu. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Thursday evening, and we've had a right busy day getting his hair cut. Getting all ready for vegan camp out, so this is the, the last meal before we go. Um, and we'll have it. I thought I'd bring the packet out for you. This I've mentioned it last week as well. Spiced grains and chestnuts with wild rice and cranberries. I can't remember where I got them from. It was either Heron or Farm Foods, and they were dead cheap. But somebody's mentioned recently they've ordered some. So if you fancy it, that's what it looks like out of the pack. It's actually quite lovely. It is, it's nice. It is. This is Green Cuisine um, family size box of dippers, 22 in a box. We'd already had some, so I said, we'll finish them off. We got them for a pound, or, or either a pound or a pound odd from Sainsbury's. It looks like they were being discontinued. And a bit of salad with some of our beautiful homegrown tomatoes some jarred olives and a bit of red onion I had left over in the uh, in the fridge. A couple of dipping sauces, that one we made, that's the West African. It is. And that one, the lovely Angarad bottles, it's lemon chilli and coriander. It is. I'm having a bit of bread. Hmm. So there you go. That's that, that's about it, kids. There's dinner. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello my loves, it's Sunday night, but you know that from that little thing before that told you this is Friday and we've gone to VCO, uh, well we're back now, um, do you want to say anything, look how sunk it's my husband did. <laughs> um, it's just been great, it's been great, I mean um, vlogs imminent, it was incredible, beautiful humans, all in a field together, getting to perform with the vegan queens, the audience, the team, the had, camp out team. We had a great time. Incredible, yeah. Um, and so all the food that we ate Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and Monday morning, actually, is in... Oh, did I say it's Sunday? I did, didn't I? It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Yeah. Sorry, it's Monday. Sorry about that. It will have come up in text. So we're having a VFC fillet. Um... Unfortunately, the spinach had been in the fridge a few days, and so I couldn't use it as a salad, so I whacked it in the pan and wilted it. Yeah. Uh, so it's wilted spinach on the bottom with English mustard and raw onion. One of our beautiful tomatoes, mm -hmm. thickly sliced, uh, mayo, BFC fillet, ketchup, a few uh, 
Gordoni olives, I think they're called, and a few crisps. I'm so hoarse. <laughs> let, let them see my face oh. for a minute. You can, you can see how I like that. I'm so hoarse from all of the singing. Not necessarily the singing on stage, although that were hard, because, you know, I, all, I had the chest infection. <coughs> Not too long ago. But then, singing future possible songs as Paul and Stuart acting like Gemini and Miasma in the tent, drunk on red wine. I've no excuses. Barmy. Barmy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a very simple uh, dinner. This it's evening. a post-festival dinner. It's a post-festival dinner, but you know what? We're right looking forward to it, and that's what matters. Mm-hmm. Um, so, this, oh, this is the final night of the meals, look. Of course it is. Sorry, it's been a short one, but we really hope you enjoy the upcoming... Uh, VCO vlog and we're sure you will and there's loads of grub in there thanks so much for watching loves bye loves <laughs>